Any of you guys that work on cars a lot, you know about redneck chaining. Uh, uh, engineering. That's where you take a bolt or something and put through something else and try to connect it and all that crap. I got a chain here. I don't know what this chain's off of, but it's... Hopefully it'll serve the purpose. So we about got Uncle Phil's car ready to go. He just didn't know it was out of gas, I guess. I'm sorry about that. I thought we would have a hope we'd have a good old cold start finally, but he's uh, he's kinda out of money right now for a little bit, and I'm out of money for a little bit, so So we're on a we're in kind of a holding pattern, I guess you could say. This is, this is called chainology, guys. Y'all probably know what chainology is. Like I said, that's when you, that's when you, you work with bolts and you work with uh, uh, lengthening and shortening the chain up and stuff. And, uh, 
take off anyway. To get it exactly balanced right, you know, you're a chainologist. Let's pour in some. Uh, I never used it. So I'll tell you what my idea is, and it's just an idea. You know, you have a lot of ideas, but one of them I'm having right now is uh, I think this engine's okay. Like I said, I hope it's not locked up now from sitting, but we usually don't have that problem down here in the south. But uh, what I'm interested in doing is finding another. Dodge pickup that may need an engine put in it. Yeah, just going ahead and picking that up, putting this engine in it. Because somehow, you know, I spend, for one thing, I spend way too much of time, my time thinking about cars. And that's not a problem. But the problem comes when you're thinking about new cars, newer cars, which is a, is a, car guy, you're not supposed to be thinking of newer cars, you're supposed to be thinking of older stuff. So, that's that, and then, you know, the other problem is, obviously, I'm never satisfied with what I have, and I don't know how you get over that problem, but I need to get over it. distracts me from my old car. We'll see. It's a fever. And the only prescription is more cars. Okay. That's what I mean by being a chain on. You know, I still have people on my videos that come back like two or three years later and complain about videos, about how I made the video. Why is that? What do people think is going to happen? They honestly think that you, you take, a, take a list and write a list of their usernames down and put it up beside the computer or whatever you're using to upload videos and say, well, now, I remember that that person was not happy with how I made a video, so I need to consult with them before I put this video up, make sure it meets their approval. Yeah, that's going to happen. Sure it is. You talk too much. You talk too much. Too much talking and not enough working. Well, I'll tell you what, pal. Like I said before, if you want to pay me the $50 an hour service fee, it's, which is really cheaper than what you pay at the dealership. Uh, do videos a different way, then I'll, I'll do that. Let me know. I hope I got this thing about kind of okay. The engine weighs more than the. Transmission does. I've kind of got it picked up at the back, you know. Yeah, this thing's always a pain in the ass. Fucking engine. 